Oh my God, it looks so dreary. So, ugh. Please, make this the last day of Melbourne's awful winter weather. Don't think we can take it anymore. This is even worse than the uh, coronavirus lockdown that we're experiencing here in Melbourne. Well, for me it is anyway. Looking at that day after day. But do you know what cheers me up, guys? There is a solution. Well, there's a, there's a few solutions. I'm going to share mine. And that is... Sweet nectar. Yep. Sweet nectar, guys. In the form of, well, fruit. Which I grow here at Fruitopia all year round. On this dreary, cloudy and cold winter's day, I just went around and collected these fruits so that I could share, share is the key word here, right, with you and I hope you share too when you um, discover this and also when you have uh, achieved this yourself, share with everyone so they can grow their own, not only food, but their own um, sweet nectar. It's all about sugar, guys. Naturally occurring sugars coming from fruit. One of the viewers the other day asked me, Hey, um, where's your vegetables? Where are your vegetables? Guys, my um, diet is based mostly on fruit. And um, vegetables come secondary. I'm not very big into vegetables. We do eat vegetables every day, right? Greens and and um, potatoes and uh, pumpkins, sweet, um, sweet potato and so on. But the emphasis is always on fruit. This is what um, gets us through, not only in summer but also now in winter, all year round. I'll share with you what I just picked. These are ice cream beans, Inga, it's called in uh, South America. and. Uh, it's high season now. They've been a little dry this year, not as good as the previous years, but uh, we're going to check these ones out to see if they're any better. Next is, uh, well, oranges, right? <sighs> We've been eating the, a lot of these. I had like five when I woke up, and I'm going to have another one now. This is a tangelo, right? With that nipple on top. See the distinct nipple? And that's um, a sour, sweet citrus. It's an awesome combination. And then there's the tamarillo, which is a tree tomato, right? And they've been coming since April. Been feasting on them for uh, how long? Five months. And these are the first pink guavas, Hawaiian, so-called Hawaiian guavas that are pink in the middle. They're a little on the, on the sour side, but they're good in, in um, juicing. And here we have a, a bunch of mandarins, which I cut off, the mandarin tree. And finally, sugarcane for chewing. All of this from the garden today, just picked, like in the last... 20 minutes so even though we're in lockdown for six weeks stage four with a curfew we don't need to leave the house we haven't been out of the house since mid-july and now it's the what the end of august and we're doing just fine like amazingly fine and i hope you are too and i contribute that mostly to um to these guys to the fruit the fruit that i'm growing and the fruit that i know what is in it and the fruit that i'm harvesting the reason many of you are frustrated is not only because of the corona it's also because you've lost control of your um source now that source can be many things 
here we're talking about um, food the source of uh, nutrition the source of uh, healing the source of life so that would be very frustrating so I can understand and uh, you can take it back guys you can take it back through uh, growing your own fruit you can say food whatever floats your boat for me it's fruit not um, lettuce or carrots an abundance of fruit so much that you can't possibly eat it all not only being in control but basically um, being on top of the world look these are summer mandarins coming in about three months yeah we're not gonna be able to eat them all but that's not the point the point is to have enough plus more and these are our winter and spring mandarins literally thousands of them from one tree only just one tree it's basically weighing itself down and that's what we want to see guys all year round sweet mini melons pepino all year round these are very very convenient and they come like I said even in winter all across and many of you who are growers will agree with everything I'm saying but for those that are totally disconnected well this video is for them it's for you guys come back come back to the uh, to the source these are our summer oranges coming in uh, November December January February March April I hope this video has helped and uh, has made sense and even inspired you to grow to grow guys no matter where you are even if you're in a cold climate you can achieve some of this in pots growing indoors during winter and outdoors in pots in summer Yeah, I'm showing you everything that's coming here to inspire you. Because nobody else is going to do it. Not your brother, not your sister, not your mother, not your father. Because they're disconnected too. So, when you're reconnected, you can help them if they care. All right, guys, I love making these videos for you from uh, the garden. Remember to subscribe if you haven't, if you're new to this channel. And also like if you enjoy. And of course, comment if you care to share. I'm going to continue with my brunch here with these uh, delicious fruits and I hope to see you from the next video thanks guys